respected chairman and uh, i have been given the opportunity to address this august house first time i elected to the parliament from the belagavi constituency that is in karnataka and uh, i am very much thankful to the honorable speaker and our party and uh, our leader narendra modi ji for giving me a positive address and participate in the budget session here sir i am honored to be here today to discuss the crucial elements that drive our nation's progress the budget key focus on four major four major pillars garib <coughs> mahilano yuva and <coughs> annadata form the cornerstone of our pursuit of our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji vision <coughs> of a vikasita bharat vikasita bharat is a concept that is a promise to every citizen of our great nation it embodies our commitment to economic growth that reaches every corner of the country ensuring that no one is left behind sabka saath sabka vikas through strategic initiatives and inclusive policies <coughs> the budget is building a nation where opportunities are abundant and everyone has the means to contribute to and benefit from our collective prosperity i will focus mainly on benefit benefits of our startups and uh, women empower consumption msmes and job creation these are the main important pillars of the development of the our nation and uh, our honorable finance minister and our honorable prime minister narendra modi modi ji given the importance for these four pillars and accordingly the budget has been presented i am very much happy i am supporting this budget and i congratulate our finance minister and our leader narendra modi ji for this important budget and a good budget regarding startups is concern the angel tax is wonderful steps abolition of the angel tax is a wonderful steps in ensuring the continued success of our startup nation and investment in ai ml are in the right direction <coughs> the startups are the life food of innovation and economic vitality they bring fresh ideas create new markets and generates employment opportunities the budget recognizes this and is committed to fostering a supportive environment for the startups then to promote formal producer organization cooperatives and startups in vegetable supply chain ensuring better collection storage and marketing additionally the budget is providing financial support to encourage development of new crop varieties fostering agricultural startups that being innovation to our farming communities this is very important the startups only we have see in the other fields but now the aim of this uh, encouraging uh, startups agriculture in concerned is the very important and it will helpful for the farmers and women empowerment that is also that is giving so much importance to the facilities and projects to the women that creates a empowerment to the women that is also very good steps by the our honorable prime minister and regarding the local economies the boosting a domestic consumption is another key focus area to stimulate local economies 
the budget envisages developing 100 weekly huts or street food shops in select cities. That is also very important, and it will create more employment generation and everything. And another, sir, another sector, important sector is MSMEs, micro, small, and medium enterprises. Uh, this, this creates more employment opportunities in the national level, and already wherever the MSMEs are there, it creates more employ, employment opportunities in uh, youths. That is a very important sector. And uh, loan facilities and other facilities given to the MSMEs is a very development orientation. And uh, that uh, job creation, what the aim is, our leader Narendra Modi ji, that is very important. The budget has launched schemes to provide internship opportunities in 500 top companies for one crore youth over the next five years, equipping them with the skills and experience needed to succeed in today's competitive job market. Additionally, the budget is offering an allowance of rupees 5,000 per month and one-time assistance of the 6,000 rupees through CSR fund, providing crucial support to our young workers. The budget skilling initiatives aim to equate, equip 20 lakh youths with a new skills over the next five years. The budget is also upgrading 1,000 industrial training institutes in hub and spoke arrangements ensuring our workforce is ready for the jobs of tomorrow. These are the <coughs> very good steps for the development and creating employment opportunities and jobs and uh, women empowerment and use skill labor, everything. Th these are what are the steps taken by our Narendra Modi ji. That is very important. And uh, sir, one, one important opposition parties, they are criticizing, but they are not criticizing. What are the, what Modi ji did for the country last 10 years, they forgotten, I think they forgotten. <coughs> one, uh, one example I will say, I will put forth that is the one uh, Udan Yojane. The Udan Yojane, that uh, project Udan Yojane, if, uh, if it is not come into the existence, because I will say in Karnataka, only Bengaluru and Mangalore airports are developed, but in Hubli, but in Belagami airports, they are only for surfaces. After uh, launching of the Udan scheme, so many connectivity to the from the Belgavi to so many important cities, even to the Delhi, from Hubli to Delhi, Belgaum to Hubli, and so many connectivity to the so many cities, even Gulburga in Hyderabad, Karnataka, Kalyan, Karnataka, there is a Gulburga airport developed, Bidar airport developed, and Shumoga airport developed. So air connectivity started because of Udana Yojana. Uh, I, I request the Honorable Prime Minister and Concerned Minister that a Udan scheme is for the limited period. If it is period is extended for further, that, that cities will be create more uh, commercial activities, more will be developed. And another one thing, sir, that uh, these uh, opposition party, some members, they started criticizing. What happened? What happened to the infrastructure earlier when the UPO government was there? When the Congress government was there, why infrastructure not developed? Four line, six line roads created, constructed. When Atal Bihari was pay, come into power, when become the prime minister, four line, six line roads have been uh, continued, constructed. And Gramin, Pradhan Mantri Gramin Sadaka Yojane, when he started, when Vajpayee was the prime minister. And in Modi ji reason also, 10 years, so many express highways, four line, eight lines, Lines have been constructed, roads construction. Why not in the UPS government? Why not in the Congress government? So only they are criticizing what happened, what did the, by the last 10 years government, Modi's is contribution. And uh, if, say, for example, in Karnataka, we are not getting any IIT last so many years. When Congress government was there, UPA government was there, we are not getting the IITs. But when Modi ji came into power, first time, we get the IIT for the Karnataka. So many, so many medical colleges, so many medical colleges, 
Ames, Ames, he established the Ames to the so many states. Why not? Why not Congress? Why not the Congress? They have to answer it. What happened? And so. क्या हो गया? Please continue. कुछ भी नहीं. कुछ भी नहीं. Only gorillas and scams. Only scams, scams, scams. You be second. Only scams. And last ten years, no scam. And no black spot on the Modi ji. And transparent government has given by the Modi ji. What last? What you be second? What happened? Only scams, 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 corruption, corruption, corruption. Transparent government is given, good administration is given by the Modi ji. And, and we are fifth, fifth in the economic development in the fifth stage in the world. Within a short period, we will become a third strongest economic development in the world. What, what is happened in the UPI government? What is happened in the Congress government? Why you have not solved all these problems? So only criticizing me, nothing will happen. You 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 see your performance. You compare your performance. So these are the developments. I have limited time. If uh, I have given so many times, more times, I will say what are the happening in the your UP government? What is the Congress government? What is the Karnataka government? They are doing. I will explain everything, but nothing has happened. What are the model, model government is there, and a moderate, a good administration is there. You have to see and learn from the Modi ji leadership. You Modi ji leadership, and he is the, still, still he is the mass leader in the Indian peoples. Likes Modi ji, he is a mass leader, he is a popular leader. Nobody will compare with the leadership of the Modi ji. So this is a happen, and uh, lastly, sir, lastly, I will say regarding uh, one, sir, one thing that so many, so many river disputes are there, so many river. For example, Kalsa Banduri Madai, Karnataka and Goa, and Krishna Upper Krishna projects in Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Kaveri in between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. I request. Mr. C. R. Patil, Jal Sekti Ministry, he, is, he was there. I request the, all the parties, all the national parties, all the regional parties, I request because of the economic development, because of irrigation projects if taken in the uh, everywhere, uh, farmer will never develop like anything. So our economic activities will be more. So thinking about that, these issues has to be resolved consciously. Okay. If Mada issue and uh, Kaveri, Upper Krishna projects, if you should, it is, will be helpful. So I am very much thankful to the, our chairman and our party for giving me the opportunity to address this August House. Thank you.